also avoid sketchy looking websites and the too good to be true ads you might have seen saying you've won a prize for getting a million viewers. It's also good to know about encryption. An encrypted message is a message whose meaning has been hidden. This means that if someone eavesdrops on your connection, they still can't read your messages. When you're browsing online, you can tell if your connection is encrypted by checking if the address starts with HTTPS. You can also encrypt the data you have saved on your hard drive. This makes it unreadable if it's ever stolen. Most computers come with encryption software, though it's usually not set up by default. If you use Windows, you can set up BitLocker. Or if you use Mac, you can set up FileVault. One very important thing to keep in mind is that you should never share personal information online. These include obvious things like your name, age, and address, but also less obvious things like the name of your school or your favorite restaurant. It's important to remember not to share personal information even if it's just talking to a friend online. A lot of people make a hobby out of, out of bypassing electronic security, a hobby that's actually been around since before computers and the internet. So people used to crack telephone systems in order to make free long distance calls. In one famous case, the serial Captain Crunch came with a whistle that blew at 2,600 hertz. If you blew this whistle into a phone, you could get operator access to make free calls. We're going to finish this lesson by talking a little bit about how the internet actually works. We'll start with IP addresses. Every computer, tablet, phone, or other device that connects to the internet has an IP address. This is a unique digital address that, sim that is similar to the address of your house. Sometimes, more than one device can share one IP address. For example, if you have multiple devices connected to a wireless router at home. 